Okay, it is time to take measurements. I'm better at measurements and stuff now. I'm more accurate. This is a very important part of the build. Notebook, must have for documenting measurements. So first we kind of like draw the shape of them. for me. Ooh. Okay. And then, once we have the shape, bird us, we can start to measure. The hockey that here is designing the floor. How is it going? It's just hard because the wheel wells are like at an angle and I don't know what angle they're at. So... We just guess, like you always. Yeah, it's kind of hard. After about five tries, the first piece of the new floor is in. We just have to do this one and this one, but those will be easy. This took us like far too long. Caffeine drink time. And we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish by today, yeah. Yeah, we are. We better. All right, so we got these two drills. We have all our funny little lines. This is where we can put our screws. Okay, we've detoured from the floor to the framing because our screws are not long enough for the floor. So um, we watched a couple of videos on framing. We thought it would be easier, but you know, like the best, but with the curves, it's kind of weird. So this is what we think is the best option is to pop two three by ones, one in the middle and one at the top. And then we've got a two by two down the bottom and we don't have to fur these like we furred this one that we were gonna use because it's pretty straight anyways. And then the, I guess we'll have to buy bendy ply. We'll just kind of run like that. So we've got wood to metal screws for these. Um, we can only frame where the metal is quite thick. We can't frame like around here because the screws will go through. So that's what we're going with. something like that so yeah we got $60 or $56 which is like really really good and then we went shopping around for all the other things that we needed we bought a new floor which we're gonna store probably after we do the walls here we are she's really heavy so we got a floor then we went to buy some bendy wood to make the walls um, we just choose like the uh, one eight uh, thickness, which is like quite thin. 
in my opinion but the guys say that everyone uses this for build and it's like really good for, for the curve of the van and um, so we're gonna work on that today and then we went to home depot to buy some miscellaneous with both like effects and some stuff for plumbing and uh, yeah so it's actually like really late it's 3 p.m uh, Sasha is at work, so I'm just gonna start to do some furring around here uh, for installing the walls and I'm gonna start to isolate everything around the van and then tomorrow together we're probably gonna install the walls. <music> dimension of like kind of like let's go this window and we're gonna put this first and then this after and then I think gonna be squeezed like with the ball <laughs> and I think we're doing pretty well. Um, as always, we're not moving as fast as we expected, but today's gonna be a productive day. So what we've done so far, Stefano did this while I was at work yesterday. He um, put all the reflectix insulation on the walls and he put all of the furring strips or the framing on the walls. This side he put our, <laughs> I'm just gonna call it floofy insulation. I don't know what it's called. He put this um, soft squishy insulation up. So this wall is done. We're gonna put this insulation up here today and then we can start to put some walls up. I'll show you. Now we went with this framing and we actually didn't have to cut the grooves to match any curves because we went with more uh, horizontal framing focus than more vertical. So we didn't actually have to cut any grooves to curve the wood which is handy and um, the wall pen also perfectly come up to here we got some really nice bendy ply um, so we'll use that for the walls we have to borrow the angle grinder from the neighbor again to cut these metal bits off and then we can start to secure the walls we ordered pretty much everything on Amazon yeah pretty much yeah, everything like toilet to stove electrical stuff plumbing so stuff. plumbing stuff so these lights are coming in the next couple of days, so solar panels. So everything's kind of coming by the end of the week. Um, today is Tuesday. So we could get some major progress next week and this week. Hopefully. You ready to work? Yeah. Aye. Not really. <laughs> Okay, 
we officially start to work on the walls. Um, we are starting with this one. Uh, we don't have the wiring yet. So we are gonna start with this wall because we are not gonna put any wire be down behind it. Uh, so we did cut the first curve over there. And right now it fits surprisingly, it fits okay. And uh, what we're gonna do now is we took a measurement down here to cut above the wheel well and then we're gonna try to place it and see if it works are you optimistic no <laughs> we have placed the wheel well with a piece of cardboard which step now is cutting out which we will then trace onto our wall panel which will then go perfectly and we'll get it on the first cut right i hope so never happens in the meantime i'm feeling really tired so i'm having one of these these drinks are like necessary for the build when you have to do it this fast and this hot. We drank so many of these when we built the bus. They have like electrolytes. So I need to pet me up and Stefano is gonna sort out the wall. Yeah, luckily we did this because look how big we're gonna make, <laughs> we're going to make it too big. We managed to put the first wall up. Um, we can't put the second wall up because we're still waiting for wiring, which we should come today or tomorrow. But in the meantime, uh, we can start to do the floor. So I'm just gonna go and get the floor and work on it. And while Sasha is ordering the cabinets and all the rest online. So the process to lay the floor is going from left to right. Uh, we're gonna start from this angle, working our way to the right. And I'm also gonna put uh, soft floor glue, uh, just because we didn't use like the soundproof plastic uh, sheet underneath. Uh, so it's best to just put glue so the uh, floor doesn't shift too much. And it's also recommended leaving like a little bit of gap on the edges, maybe like, well, I don't know, in inches because I'm not good, but maybe like half centimeters. Uh, so, because some, the floor is panned as well, so it's best not to just go and shove it right up on the wall. almost completed we are going to cut the piece here and this is ready to go so I'm gonna install this and then this one and then we go on the second line did you order the cabinets when are they coming uh, ooh, about seven days seven to ten days okay that's not bad yeah yeah that's yeah, all right it's okay and they're painted white so we don't have Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, perfect. I thought that would save us a bit of time. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. You know you have an Amazon problem when they bring you your deliveries on a cart. We bought a lot of Amazon stuff for the bus build, but we never saw this before. Okay, that's nice. Well, that's who yet. We've got some electrical stuff. USB outlet. What's this? Bus bar? Just your Burning Man outfits. Yes. Then what's this? Oh, we got the sound dummy. Yes. Oh, perfect. Really heavy. Jesus, yeah. Your clothes. What's that? Are my sunglasses? Leatherwear. Do you have a little shopping spray? This is a fuse. Nice one. Hi, and these are your hoods. Through 
the jungle. Mm-hmm. <sighs> we had a problem. Okay. <laughs> this is Stefano's favorite phrase. Let's think positively first. Progress. We got two thirds of the floor done. Yeah, we all. We got this we one wall. wall. We cut the other wall. Wrong, but we cut it. And um, I just had to go under the car. You should see your face. Is my face really dirty? Okay. <laughs> to, you should be your arm and your leg. To try to pull this out. I'm filthy. But we can't move this like little piece of metal. So we're just going to put a cabinet on top of it, right? Yeah, I know. We just need to cut this plank. This for the floor? Around it. And then we're done? And then for we're the done for this one, yeah. <sighs> okay. Look at this beautiful floor, baby. Nice job, Stephanie. Really good job. Let's still put this up and it works nice. Uh, maybe. Can you help me? So yeah, it rests perfectly on top of this one. Uh, we're probably gonna find some sort of tree near uh, to cover where you meet. And what we're gonna do now is we have a two by two here, so we can secure it here. And what we're gonna do now is make a support for it behind which is gonna be here on this metal frame. So we're gonna secure, we're gonna screw this piece of three by one, and then we're gonna secure the piece of wall on this one so we can use nail, which is way better than using steps. I blend with the band. <laughs> okay, ignore our pack lights. Um, we are putting our second biggest wall up temporarily we're keeping the bottom open because we still have to do some plumbing and a little bit more electrical and if there's one thing we learned from the bus it was do not nail and glue your walls in because you're gonna have yeah. to take them out so putting, <laughs> putting up the walls is like the longest process because you have to do your framing your insulation your wiring your plumbing, plumbing. you have to think about where your switches where your outlets where all water that stuff intake, is going in water case. intake water pump all of that stuff before you can put the walls up. So we put holes where our switches and our outlets are going. We mapped that out. Um, we cut out a hole for our AC outlet. Um, we've done all the wiring behind it and we're gonna put it up mostly just so that we can take the van surfing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause we, we can't drive it around with all this insulation hanging out. We did the top wall already. So this is already like secure or three quarters secure. We mm -hmm. still haven't even finished it, but yeah, we did the four points. So um, once we put this wall, we only have a little segment down there near the driver and then we are done with walls. So yeah. we can start building. Which it's, it's a very back and forth process with walls. I feel like yeah. before you put the walls up, it's very slow. And then after the walls are up, that means like all the background stuff is done and then you can move a little bit faster. So finger cross, we get to put it up in one go. And keep it up. And keep it up. <laughs> We had to just put this last wall up temporarily while we wait for some more electrical things to come. But stay tuned for next week's video and you'll be able to see the progress with the rest of the walls, as well as us start our bed, our bench seats, and our plumbing system. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.